In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Texta.ai. And I know it just seems like these AI content writing tools and assistants seems to be popping up every three seconds nowadays. And how in the world are you supposed to know which ones are great? But that's the reason why I buy them so I can show you and then you can make the decision on your own. Spoiler alert, Texta.ai, Texta it's a good one. It's probably not my preferred one, but it's decent for what it does, you know? So let's go ahead and jump right in. And um, let's go ahead and jump to the front page of Texta just so we can see kind of a baseline on what um, it, how, what, it, what it provides. Uh, one click away from your perfect blog post. Now, the one thing that Texta kind of claims that they can do is literally within seconds create an entire blog post based just on the title that we give it. This is kind of what AI tools, uh, what a lot of people are wanting AI tools to do is to literally just give them a title and it creates the blog post for you. Texta does that and it can create an entire, you know, 800,000 word post literally within like five or six seconds. So it is kind of crazy how they are able to do that, but um, they can do so in so many different languages as well. You have English, French, Dutch, yada, 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 you can see here, even down to Hebrew and Russian and Thai and Chinese, which is kind of cool. Um, they are a Grammarly official partner powered by the Google, the Google Cloud and uh, Zapier integrations with stuff. They have a video right here. It's just it's a short video, just kind of just selling their product. Um, nothing interesting more here. They claim plagiarism free. There has been a couple of uh, people who have complained that the content that is creating isn't plagiarism free, but that's something that we'll jump into it when we do the actual review um quite a few people here as you can see have uh given us some positive reviews over on trust pilot um trust about twenty five thousand businesses including discovery channel wix grammarly shopify and linkedin which is some pretty big names you know so um you can get started for free with them and uh, it's very limited with how much you get for free um you know four thousand words which probably boils down to that might get you a blog post or two you know, depending on what it is, because you got to remember that the content that it creates, we have to decide whether or not you want to keep it. Everything that it creates and generates is not going to be something that you're going to want to keep. Trust me. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at what's available over at AppSumo. Now, as of right now, AppSumo does have a lifetime deal going on for Texta.ai. Um, I would recommend go checking it out at least just so that you can see. Oh, actually, the actual pricing. Let's click on the pricing. Um, Ten dollars a month or you can do 120 build annually for 600,000 words. That's a lot of words. You know, you can you can get quite a bit done with that many. Um, you get the max feature. Um, the only difference between the max and the starter is the fact that you do get more people. So if you have a, a, a group of writers, you can give this to them so that they can log in and use it as well. And then you got the uh, Pro Max Plus. Um, you get double the amount of words, 1.2 million words, uh, and 10 user seats. You also get what they call the great quality versus the good quality in terms of the um, the quality of content that it does create. Um, I would definitely recommend at least going with a $17 a month one so that you can get that great quality because good quality content just doesn't look that great. I'm just gonna be honest with you. So let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the difference here over at Texta um, over on AppSumo as well. $69 one time and you get the tool uh, for life. You know, you don't have to worry about uh, ever paying for it again. Um, let's go down here to what you're going to be getting. You can stack codes with this. Um, you, I, you, the most that you would need to ever really do is probably the two or the three. And every time you add another code, it's going to allow you to get that other tier here. So this one will give you three tiers for the thing. Um, I'll be sure to put a link down in the description. You can go check it out if you want to give text.ai a try. But uh, it, you know, even with the single one, you're going to get everything that it provides, the Grammarly integration, the Zapier stuff that they claim is coming soon. Um, the SEO keyword research is available in there as well. Um, then you can stack the codes depending on how many words you want per uh, it has some pretty decent reviews from what people are saying. Um, it is a newer program. Uh, it's probably not as smooth as a word hero or a word play or definitely not, not a Jasper, but at least it's, it's available for you. So let's go ahead and look at the tool itself. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And as we logged in on the left side, we have all of these options that we can have um, just similar to like a Jasper or word hero. There are a ton of, 
um, different uh, templates that you can use. So when you're looking at the long, the long form templates, you have academic article, blog posts, internet and technology, fitness blog, health blog, really just different types of blogs, an intro, outline, essay intro, headline generation, all of that fun stuff. You can click on product ones and then it breaks it down into a real estate blog, uh, e-commerce blog, you can do PR stuff which kind of looks the same to be honest. I'm, it doesn't really like it as much of a difference there. Um, social ads, uh, the video generator is probably one of the ones that I would use the most. Google headlines, Google descriptions, uh, ad copy, LinkedIn ads, Facebook headlines, uh, primary um, product descriptions. And let's look at this one. I'm gonna do the video one. So let's just say for this particular video, I'm gonna say a review of texta.ai the artificial intelligence tool and just see what happens now if i click advanced tools it's really just asking me do i want to output the language you know in english and um that's you see there's no other options at least not there just just get cancel on that and we're going to click on create and let's see what it comes up with um now these are the video title generators. This isn't the, the description, but five things you'll love about review AI tools. They don't even mention the name Texta at all. The future of AI, Texta.ai. The next level of all of AI, the revolutionary. You know, I mean, these aren't terrible. I probably honestly wouldn't use any of them. Um, but uh, let's see if we can get, next one we have um, sales copy. Uh, Website copy, we have subheader text, question generator, meta descriptions, um, sales copy, feature to benefit, marketing strategy, create a marketing strategy by identifying your target market. All right, that's not too bad. Um, email letter, I would use this a lot as well because I do a lot of send a lot of emails. And then careers, you can do cover letters, LinkedIn profile summaries. And then over on the bottom left here, we do have other things such as earn credits, projects, team management, and then buy additional credits. Um, if you do get the uh, AppSumo deal, that's the lifetime deal, you shouldn't have to buy any additional credits. I did read somewhere that um, once they add the plagiarism checker, you would need to purchase credits for it. Uh, but it hasn't been released yet, at least not available on here. So at least as of right now, you'd have to depend on another tool for uh, for plagiarism checking. But for the most part, I mean, you can, that's with all AI tools, you should run it through that specifically. Um, there is a paraphraser and a, a grammar correction. So you can put things, you can input them here and um, it'll help kind of summarize it for you. Let's just see what this generates. The artificial intelligence tools available at a.ai are impressive and help you to create and analyze complex data. I mean, it's a nice sentence, but it doesn't have anything to do with what we were going for. So there's that. Um, now they, they do have a long form editor here. So from here, we can actually just start typing, you know, if, if you like, and just start creating your blog post. Um, this add more button at the bottom left. There is no dedicated button that you can click that automatically clicks this for you, similar to, you know, command J with Jasper or whatever. But I mean, you can just click it and it's supposed to look at the information right above it. So I can say, um, you know, this is, a review of texta.ai and then click add more and it should kind of keep on track with what we're talking about there um, we can do add paragraph or add a sentence so we're going to click on paragraph just to see what it generates and you see that was that was pretty quick right texta.ai is a software that helps you to create and manage your text content you can control how much text is included in your post and how it's organized so uh, they don't really talk too much about the fact that it's a uh, artificial intelligence, but the reason why is because w what it's reading is from like 2017 or something, 2018 and back. So anything that was created after that time, it's not going to be aware of. And that's pretty much the same for all the AI tools that are out there. So that's why it just, it's just kind of making the best guess as to what text.ai is. But, you know, if you really look at it, the fact that it did look at this first sentence and then try to create a paragraph from it, you just got to make sure that you check it. That's really the only difference there that you want to uh, be absolutely sure that it checks it. So uh, what you could do from there, it does keep track of your words here at the bottom, your H1s and h 2 So let's say I want to change this one to an H1. And then maybe this next sentence right here is going to be my H2. 
change it to that and then I can start typing my paragraph and you I like the clean look at this as well um, let's get rid of this upgrade you know it's pretty clean um, you know you can think you know you don't have a lot of things on the sides like you probably would have within WordPress or something like that that can be distracting you can sit here and just concentrate on typing and editing the article um, there is an option here for advanced settings for when you are using the AI you have the creativity which is pretty much how long are you how much are you going to let the AI just kind of stretch its legs and the, usually the more creative it gets that means the less accurate it's going to get as well but usually you get better quality content that way you just got to be absolutely sure that you check it to make sure that it makes sense and is real um, you can use tones here you have formal informal optimistic pessimistic joyful hy uh, hypocritical humorous there's what about fit about you know 20 or 30 of them here in the uh, styles you have expository descriptive persuasive narrative uh, blogging you know um, entertainment informal formal speech descriptive and uh, target audience would be you know if you're writing a blog for golfers you just type in golfers article length you can then change the length that you want the article here as well and just click apply and then you can click add more again and it'll start just creating content for you now let's go back here I did allow uh, text.ai to create an entire blog post for me just by clicking one button so what you would do is you would go to the long form and then just click on blog post and then here you can type in anything you want and this one it already already threw something in here how I traveled it misspelled let's change the travel on a budget best trip advice and uh, you just click generate article and we're just gonna count here I'm not even gonna speed the video up but I want you to see just how quickly it creates this content um, it's always always constantly asking you to do this or do that to earn more words as well that does have pop up a lot and just like that that probably was maybe four or five seconds and now this is a article that's 1023 words long and I mean it's something that you could put out there I'm not saying that it's great I'm not saying that the content is going to be accurate you will need to read through this and edit it yourself but uh that's not that's not terrible to say that it can throw something together like this where almost every other ai tool that's out there is only going to create you know a paragraph or a section this one creates the entire article literally within seconds now just for fun i did create this article right here that's um i think i gave it you know what are you know who is Pikachu or something like that and um, yeah so it says Pikachu all-star status the quietest Pokemon on earth that right there you know um, as a dad I know that that's not true <laughs> so quietest Pokemon on earth is definitely not what it is it's one of the loudest and uh, especially when it comes to like the electricity because it generates electricity so it says um, all-star status um, th thanks to its extremely quiet nature um, it's easily bend and diff and uh, blend in during any environment. Um, they can run quickly and silently, making it perfect to running errands and sneaking around undetected. You know, I mean, I don't. That's not very true about the character in the first place. But it just threw something in there. You know, um, it is one of the most popular creatures in the Pokemon universe. Um, they say this one. I don't know where they get this quietest from. That's just something it literally just created on its own. Um, it's not a bad intro paragraph because it does kind of present the fact and then it says but is it really true are they truly science do you think so let's take a closer look so it's trying to get you to continue reading which is not a bad way to open up an article so let's look here what are creatures alike other creatures that are similar to Pikachu's include Machamp Dragonite these creatures share many of the same features such as their quick movements and ability to run quickly and silently yeah, I, just, I don't agree with that, you know, but that's, again, the whole idea is you do need to check this for uh, uh, for accuracy because it's just creating content and it's, it's doing it not a great job of it. It's just really information. So, you know, I'm going to do a test here. I'm going to copy this paragraph. I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to just drop it in here and then see what pops up i want to make sure that the content that it's creating is just not scraping it from another website all right it didn't find it anywhere here which is good let's uh take out the quotations and see what pops up 
yeah so it looks okay it doesn't look doesn't look too too bad which is usually a good sign so um in terms of the plagiarism but i mean if it literally just made up some of this stuff then you know i mean i don't know how great it would be so that's something that you would need to definitely keep in mind um, let's look at the conclusion it says they're amazing all-star pokemon that everyone should get uh by getting a pokemon card using pikachu's in your own game and helping other creatures you can make him the star of your game yeah not really sure you know if that's the greatest sentence but just to be honest i mean it, it did create content you know so i don't know if you're creating if you're creating blogs that are going to be your money blogs or anything i wouldn't put this on there probably not even close but if you just are if you're creating if you're into creating pbns or public blog networks or anything and you just need to just throw some text out there this would be a, a godsend just to be honest um if you're going to be using this on your site where you're going to be making a ton of money on or trying to make money on, I probably wouldn't use it because it's not accurate. It would, it would take you just as long to edit this as it would just to write it yourself. So that's something that you would need to keep in mind. Um, oh, this right here is something I found that was interesting as well. It says some of the Pokemon that have resemblance to Pikachu include Mario, uh, Magneto, Sonic, and Thor. Okay, none of these are Pokemon, right? Uh, and you don't even probably need to know much about Pokemon to understand that these aren't it. Yet this paragraph's making a pretty big claim that, hey, this is what this guy is or this is what this pokemon is so you know those are the things right there that you need to be very careful of um so in terms of the content that is created you know it's readable i wouldn't say that it's the greatest content in the world so that will probably stay away from it um usually you might you will get a much better uh, option with like jasper or a uh, word hero so i'll be sure to link those in the description as well i'll include the link to text.ai in the description as well because it's worth a try and it really depends on your use case um bloggerevolution.com slash texta that's bloggerevolution.com slash texta to go ahead and uh, give it a try